what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna play with the ColourPop Beauty and the Beast collection I'm so excited for this Beauty and the Beast is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies I love the characters the music the story I even love the live-action version I think they did so well with it and I have the entire collection sitting right here in front of me there's an eyeshadow palette there is a highlighter we have lip kits we have blushes and we even have this really cute um, lip mask that's like the rose I love it it's so cute but I'm gonna give you all a quick rundown on this collection show you what's in it show you some swatches give you prices all that jazz and we're gonna jump into this we're gonna create two looks with this collection so we'll do one on each side testing out all of these products seeing what they're like seeing if this is a good color pop quality for me color pop is always hit or miss um, their eyeshadows can be a little bit on the drier more powdery side but I feel like their collections like their IP collections are always like top-notch ColourPop quality so that's what I expect from this that's what we're gonna test out and see if that's what it is but let's go ahead and jump into this so I do want to let y'all know that this entire collection is still available on the ColourPop website and also throw this in really quick as well Twilight is back in stock so if you haven't picked it up and you want to pick it up everything is currently available as of the moment that I am filming this and I'm filming this the day before you're seeing it so there's not too much of a time like difference in this but everything will be linked down in the description box below as well as everything else that I do have on my face so if you're curious about any of the products that are used in this video or on my face make sure that you check down in that description box but let's go ahead and jump into this so the first thing that we have is the eyeshadow palette I have not taken anything out of the boxes yet because I just thought this packaging was so so stunning this is absolutely beautiful but let's go ahead and open up the palette so this is what the palette looks like and this is a 12 pan color story it does retail for $24 on the ColourPop website and we open up this palette see I haven't even opened it this is our color story and this is a very neutral color story but I do feel like it embodies the movie perfectly we have the oop, wrong side we have this dark navy blue like satin shimmer down here which is perfect for beast jacket and then we have this gold shimmer shadow right here for Belle's dress we've got like a rose pink we've got our neutrals I'm excited about it I think that this is an absolutely beautiful palette very well done I can't wait to test it out um, the next products that we have are two blushes so they are the exact same packaging I was worried when I first opened this up I was like uh oh they gave me the exact same blush twice but they did not so these retail for $14 a piece let's go ahead and start with this one which is chip so it does say on the back that this is chip this is what the packaging looks like it's cardboard oops there it goes open her up and we just have this really pretty like dusty rose blush I love these color blushes these are like my favorites for every day they kind of go with everything these are the colors that I tend to gravitate towards if I'm like I don't know what blush to pair with this I just go for something like this but we have chip and then we also have Mrs. Potts let me open her up so it has the Mrs. Potts on the back. So I do kind of wish that the packaging was different for each one. So I wish that like we had just Mrs. Potts on Mrs. Potts and then just chip on chip. But it is what it is. Open her up. <laughs> all the plastic's going to fall out of all of this. But we have this really pretty pink blush. This is like a dusty pink. It is not super like bright cool tone pink like we're used to seeing but this one does also retail for $14 a piece both of them do um, up next is the highlighter so this is the packaging right here this is called special guest and I kind of feel like they should have named this like Lumiere 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 Ooh, I don't know where that came from but I feel like they kind of should have named it Lumiere also side note I feel like they really missed the mark they should have included a mirror in this collection just saying a mirror would have been absolutely perfect it would have sent this over the top and just 
it would have been the perfect collection but let's jump back into the highlighter so this is the highlighter right here let me go ahead and pull this out of the packaging it does retail for fifteen dollars and actually the um, highlighter is sold out so but you can sign up to um, have them email you when it comes back in stock. So I'm assuming that it will be back in, but this is the big plastic packaging. Open it up, plastic's gonna fall out. Whoops. And this is what the highlight looks like. Oh, that pan is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I thought it was cracked over here on the side. I thought right here it was cracked, but no, it's just the, the plastic but that's what it looks like it has the big mirror up here i haven't taken off the plastic yet but um if you wanted this it is still available in the full collection but if you wanted to buy it individually it's not available right now next we have the enchanted rose lip mask so this is the packaging let's open her up pull it out Oh, this is cute. Look at this packaging. Absolutely adorable. This retails for $12. That's what it looks like. It has like a very, it has a very rose smell. Like it smells like roses. I am going to put this on. Actually, we're going to put it on right now because my lips need something. So put this on, see how it feels. It does feel very nourishing mmm okay y'all it has a taste not a bad taste just a taste I don't even know it's like a I don't even know but it does smell like roses so this is what that looks like it feels really good on my lips I'm excited for this I think it's cute I like the packaging I like the theming of it but we have two more products left to talk about so we have two separate lip kits as well so we have the break the spell lip kit and we have the Great Adventure Lip Kit. So both of these are a lipstick and a lip gloss. Let's go ahead and start with this one right here. Both of these do retail for $21. So Break the Spell comes with a lip gloss. This is called Kind and Gentle. This is a really pretty like nude shimmer color. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I am going to try on both of these lip kits, so I will switch them throughout the video so you'll get to see both of them on. I feel like lip products are really hard to swatch on the hands and show in videos just because the glosses and the lit, it's just, it's a whole thing to me. It's just better to see it on, but that's the gloss in that kit. And then it also comes with the Last Petal Lipstick. And that is what that looks like. I love the rose embossing on there. Like how pretty is that? But this is just a really pretty like brown neutral shade. I'm excited. Both of the lip kits in this collection were actually right up my speed. Usually they're not and this time they were. But let's go into the Great Adventure lip kit. This is the one with Belle on the front. And so up first we have this really pretty pink gloss. It looks like it's got a little bit of like some gold shimmer in it. Yeah, just a little bit, nothing chunky, but this one is called Bookworm. I love the names of this stuff. It's so absolutely cute. And then for the lipstick we have, what are you called? Not So Odd. And this is just like a really pretty like rosy pink color. Again, we have the roses embossed on the lipstick and it's really, really pretty. I like this shade. This is just like a dusty rose tone. I'm excited, but okay. Let's go ahead and jump into this. There are lots of bundles on the ColourPop website. Um, the entire collection you can get for $99. It retails for $121, so that's what, a $32 savings? Math off the top of my head. I'm not the best at it, but I believe that's what that is. So there are lots of bundles. You can get the entire collection for $99 a piece, or you can buy these products individually. Again, like I said, everything except for the highlighter is currently available for individual sale on the ColourPop website. If you want the highlighter and you don't want to wait, you're going to have to get it in the collection. But let's go ahead and zoom y'all in just a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and create two different looks with the ColourPop Beauty and the Beast collection. 
Okay, y'all, so we are zoomed in. My eyes are primed. I did go in with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. If you've been here, you already know this is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer of all time. I just, I love the way it performs and the way that it holds onto my shadows. But let's go ahead and create our first look with the Beauty and the Beast palette. I'm so excited to use this. I do really enjoy ColourPop and I'm so hopeful for this. So I think what I wanna do is I really wanna do something. I want to use this blue. I'm dying to use this deep blue. I do kind of wish it was like a deep matte blue, but I think what I wanna do is I wanna start with this shade up here. It's called Kind Hearted, and I'm gonna pop that into my crease. So I'm just gonna go in with a Blaine Brushes E41. I'm gonna pick up that shade and I'm going to pop this into my crease. I'm really excited about this. I'm looking at the shimmers in here. These are gorgeous obviously i haven't swatched them yet you've already seen the swatches but they are so so stunning they just look like they've got such beautiful reflex to them okay so there's that first shade very neutral very um transition shade on my skin tone if you have a deeper skin tone this obviously will perform differently, but as far as quality goes, that went on really, really nicely. I did not get any fallout. I didn't get any patching, any grabbing. I got minimal kick up in the pan. So not a whole lot there. We like that. But what I want to do is I'm going to... I think we're going to jump into this shade next. I'm going to use this on the outer corner. This one is called Dinner Invite. Absolutely so appropriate. And I'm going to go in with a Sigma E28 brush. And I'm just going to pick that up. Okay, there is a ton of kick up in the pan. Can you see that? That's a lot, a lot of kick up in the pan. So just be aware of that. But I'm going to tap this right here in my outer corner. I'm probably going to get some fallout with this because there was so much kick up in the pan. But I'm going to go in very carefully. I am just lightly tapping it on. I'm going to build up that color instead of going in really heavy handed. All right, so I'm taking that same shade with that same brush just on the very tip of it, and I'm going to press this along my lower lash line, keeping it just on the outer portion. I'm not bringing it all the way across. All right, y'all, so this is what we're looking like. I don't like that blue eyeshadow. Like, if you look on my eye, it went on very patchy, and I had a ton of fallout, and I went in and tried to fluff it away like I normally do with just a clean brush, and it made an even bigger mess, so... I sat and finagled a little bit. I went in with some more of my under eye powder. I went in with a little bit of bronzer. I tried to kind of fix it, and I just do not like that blue eyeshadow at all. It is not user friendly at all and there's not any sparkle in it either once I have it on my lid so yeah I don't like that at all okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade right here this is called beast not to mention let me show y'all something I went and like blew away the fallout and it got in this shade up here so yeah I don't like that blue not at all mm -mm. I'm going to go in with the shade Beast. I'm going to go in with my blend, my Blaine Brushes E41. And I'm just going to blend that right here on that inner portion of my lower lash line. You know, that blue is so disappointing. Like, I mean, I have other blues. It's not a big deal as long as everything else performs for me. I'll still use the palette, but... I mean, if you're a consumer buying this and you're excited about the blue, it's not good. It is not good at all. And that's disappointing because I just sat here and told you, oh, I feel like ColourPop's collabs usually have their best formulation in them and that blue sucks. But let's carry on. 
Okay, I'm gonna see if I can save this. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called West Wing, and I'm going to pick this up with a Sigma E24 brush. And I'm going to, yeah, there's a lot of kick up in this one too. I'm gonna pat this right out here and kind of, okay, kind of cover up that blue just a little bit. I hate that blue. Like, I do not like the way it looks at all. It's not like, I don't know. I just don't like it. And this is going to be a muddy mess. Like, what are we doing? But I do feel like that's kind of saving it. There's a lot of kick up with this one, too. I don't know about this, y'all. This is like, this is a little disappointing. That looks awful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I never do that, but I just feel like there's no redeeming this look and we're gonna start over. So give me just a minute. Okay, we're back. Let's take two. That was, I can usually save an eyeshadow look and I can usually kind of work with it, but there was no saving that. So we're going to take this out of the mix. So now we just have a neutral palette and that's really, really disappointing, but we're gonna carry on. I'm still gonna create two looks. I'm gonna go back in with the shade up here, the one that's called Kind Hearted, and I'm gonna go back in with that same Bling Brushes E41 and I'm gonna fluff this back into my crease. All right. That colors down. I feel like we're back where things started to go wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with this deep brown called West Wing and I'm gonna pop this into my outer corner, see how it performs on its own. Okay, so I'm going back in with my same Sigma E24 brush and I'm just patting this on that outer corner. That's going on so much better, oh my gosh. No, I can't get over that. I cannot get over that the one shade in this palette that like really makes this like a Beauty and the Beast palette sucks. Like, <sighs> absolutely awful. Like, I don't even want to try playing with it again. I will. I'll try it again as I don't even know as what because it's not a shimmer shade. It's like, it's a satin. It's a little, it... <sighs> I want to say it's a matte with shimmer in it, but I don't think it really is. I don't know. It's not good. That looks pretty. Okay. All right. I'm going to take that same shade, same brush. I'm going to fluff it under here. This eye is not happy with me right now. Oh, it's not happy. I'm going to leave that right there. So I don't know how to, how different these two looks are gonna come out since we no longer have the blue. So I think it's really gonna come down to more the shimmer shades that make the difference, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. All right, so that's what we're looking like. I like that blend. I like the way that those shades went on. Those went on really, really well. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a shimmer because we only have two other mattes left. And I think I wanna save those for the next look so we can get some difference. Do I want to go in with the blue? <laughs> that's where we're at. I wanna save this one for over here. But I think what I wanna do is I wanna go in with this gold shade. Do I wanna go in with Inner Beauty or do I wanna go in with Belle? We're gonna go in with Inner Beauty all over the lid. Yeah, we're gonna start there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my NYX Glitter Primer on my lid, say a prayer, and hope that um, this eye look doesn't fall apart on me. Okay, so I've changed my mind. I'm gonna go in with Belle first, and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna put a little bit of Inner Beauty over here, and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Ballroom Dance, and I'm gonna do that on my inner corner. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Belle. That's really pretty. Okay, I like the shift on that. That's a really pretty shade, okay. This, I like. This, I can get behind. It's a really pretty shade. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Inner Beauty and I'm gonna pop that right here. Okay, this is like more of a true gold, which makes the first shade look more of like a green gold, but it's fine, I'm not mad about it. I'm just gonna clean, like with my clean finger, I'm just gonna blend it together, blend it out that way, and I usually just kind of lightly disperse it upwards so we don't have like a weird, harsh line, which I'm still getting. Okay, um, let's go in with this shade up here. This one is called Curious Mind, and I'm going to pick that up on my finger, and I'm going to put that right here, just very, very lightly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we have a blend. Ooh, ColourPop is testing me today, y'all. Wow. Okay, eye is watering, eye is angry. Yep, okay. All right, let's throw some of this shade right here called Ballroom Dance on my inner corner. Oh, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M213 brush. Pick that shade up. I'm gonna spray it with my MAC Fix Plus per usual, and we're gonna pop this into my inner corner. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that's a really, really pretty shade. I'm gonna bring it all the way over and connect it. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. We're redeeming ourselves. Okay, this is what we're looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some liner and mascara and I will come back and show y'all the first completed look. All right, y'all, so this is going to complete the first look. It did come out really pretty, even though we had a bit of a fumble and a mess, but this did come out really pretty. It's just a nice, neutral look. I like the way that it looks. These shades all performed really nicely. Um, yeah, so let me tell you what I used to finish off this look. So for my waterline, I went in with a ColourPop green cream... A ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade 2 Can Do It. And then I lined my lid with my Glam Light Calligrapher Liner. And then for my mascara, I went in with my Tower 28 Making Waves Mascara in the shade Drift. And this is what we're looking like. So, not very Beauty, beauty in the Beast-esque, but it's fine. It's fine. I think I'm just really disappointed because of that blue shade like it just really I put a damper on this whole collection like I went from so excited to really disappointed but let's go ahead and do some cheeks let's do some lips let's kind of move on to some other products a little bit see if we can redeem um I do apologize if you can hear the yard people outside they're running a little bit late they usually come on like a Thursday but it rained so they're here today but I'm gonna go ahead and take this lip mask off I will say this does feel really nice it did nourish my lips if you were paying attention at the beginning of the video my lips looked very crusty and dehydrated and this definitely helped with that they feel a lot smoother and softer but I just have naturally really dry lips we're gonna go in with the Break the Spell Lip Kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, what is this, Last Petal? Yes, the Last Petal Lipstick and the Gentle and Kind Liner. But I am gonna line my lips, so if you want to see what these look like without a liner, I am going to do a short swatching both of these lip kits, but I really wanna use a liner because I just feel like I need a liner. I need a liner. So I'm going in with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. Lips are lined. I cannot line and talk. But let's go in with this first lipstick. This is the shade Last Petal. So it's that really pretty like nude brown shade. Okay, that is a lot darker than I expected. This is not 
the creamiest formula in the world. It's not nearly as stiff as like the lipsticks from Melt, but it's not, it's not super creamy. It's fine. It's not bad. It's not a favorite formula, but that's what that shade looks like. That's actually really pretty. And if you put it with just this look, it goes really nicely with it. I feel like this is definitely like the shade of Beast's Fur. I don't know why. Is that a weird thing to think? But let's go ahead and go in with the lip gloss. This is the shade Kind and Gentle. I love a good like nudie brown lip gloss. And I do really like ColourPop's lip gloss formula. Okay, that's what we're looking like. This has a smell to it. It's almost like a brownie smell. Yeah, it smells like brownies to me. Don't know why, but it does. But that's what the lip kit looks like on. This is the Break the Spell lip kit. I do like the shades. I think these are really pretty. This is like a very me lip combo for fall. I'm here for it. I like it. Let's throw on a blush. So for blush, we're going to go in with we're gonna go in with chip which is this one right here this really pretty like nude shade so we're gonna stick with this theme over here so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a blend brushes f24 brush and I'm just going to pick this up okay and we're gonna put this on the cheek okay Oh, y'all can see right here where I had to take everything off and put it back on. So if you see like a weird line or patchiness, that's from that. That is not from this blush. That's really pretty though. I like this shade. This is very neutral. This whole side of my face is giving fall vibes. Like this is the look that I go for in the fall. I'm excited. Those are my tones. Those are my favorite tones to wear. I love the bright colors, but I love a more muted, grungy look. Like the deep, like olive greens and deep oranges and yellows and all of that are my tones. But this is really pretty. I like this blush. The formula is really, really nice. I think if this color is up your alley, you will like it. I know ColourPop tends to kind of repeat shades here and there and just throw a different name on it but I don't have a whole lot of ColourPop blushes. Um, I used to have a lot of the Super Shock ones and those all dried out on me and I did not like the formula as far as a blush goes so their powder formula is nice. That looks really good. Okay let's throw on some of this highlighter. I'm excited for this. I think it looks beautiful. I love the candlesticks on the front. I like the packaging. I like that we have a big mirror in here. I just still think we should have gotten a handheld mirror. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Unearthly A4 brush and I'm just going to kind of swirl it through this whole pan and we're going to Put this on my cheek. This is the Super Shock formula and I usually prefer to apply this with my finger. So when we do the other side, I'll do it that way. I just feel like it picks up better. I feel like I have to go back in a ton of times with the brush, but that does look really pretty. It is glowy. It's not like over the top glowy but it's a little bit more than a lit from within i don't see any glitter particles or anything funky going on it's not grabbing it's not emphasizing texture it looks beautiful but again it's the super shock formula so that doesn't surprise me that i like it but let's go ahead and do the second look let's see if we can make something different since we don't have that blue and create a beautiful look so i think what i want to do is I really want to play with this pink down here. I'm going to start with this shade again up here. And that one is called Kind Hearted. So I'm going to go back in with my Blinged Brushes E41. Pick up that shade again. Yeah, make sure we're nice and smooth. Throw this into my crease. 
All right, that first shade is down. We already know what it looks like. We've already played with it. But let's go in to this one right down here. This one is called Break the Curse. It's a really pretty, like, rose-toned pink. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pick this up with my Sigma Kristen Dominique Eye and Nose Contour Brush. I just love this for packing color in the outer corner. So picked it up. I'm going to tap it off just a little bit. And we're going to pop this out here. That's a really pretty pink color. I'm going to bring this shade like all the way over pretty much. Further than just the outer corner. Because I am going to take a tiny bit of that dark brown called West Wing. And deepen this up just a little bit. And I have to have my depth in an eye look. I just, I just do. Even if it's just a tiny bit, I need it. Okay, so that's what that shade is looking like. I like it. I'm not disappointed, but let's go ahead and deepen up this outer corner just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go in with that dark brown shade called West Wing, and I'm going to go in with my M506 brush from Morphe, pick it up just very lightly, tap it off, and I am just going to put it like right here. I'm not going to have the shade take over and get away from me. All right, that's it. Just that tiny bit of depth out there. I like the way that that looked. I do like the way that this eye look is coming together, but I want to use this last matte that I have not used for my lower lash line, and that whew, is the shade Beast. There's a lot of kick up in this palette, y'all, with this shade right here especially. Like these two, ton of kick up, but I'm going to go in with the shade Beast, and I'm going to pick it up with a Sigma E57 brush. Just on the tip, there's a lot of kick up with that shade as well, so just beware if that bothers you, but I'm just going to fluff this along my lower lash line. Okay, let's do some shimmer. This is what we're looking like without it. I like the way that this is coming together. It's definitely a different look. It's still neutral, but it's more of a cool tone neutral. So I'm gonna throw on some of my NYX glitter primer. There's Brody barking his little head off. Okay, we're going to play with this shade Forbidden. I I think this is absolutely beautiful. It was the first shade that caught my eye when I opened up this palette. So I wanna do that, and then I wanna do this one up here in my inner corner. That one's called Vivid Imagination. So I'm gonna pick up the shade, ew. This feels so incredibly dry and gritty on my finger. Like, is that, a, that's not a pressed, it's not a pressed, is it a pressed glitter? No. That's not a pressed glitter, but it just feels like dry. Y'all. Okay, all right, let's pop this on the lid. Okay. It's a little underwhelming. Okay, it does build up. It takes quite a bit to build it up. This just feels very dry and textured in here. Like, I don't know. It's like it wants to be creamy, but <sighs> y'all. Uh -huh. Okay, that's what that shade looks like. <laughs> mm. All right, so that is forbidden on the lid. Let's do vivid imagination in my inner corner. So I'm going to go back in with my trusty little Morphe M213 brush. I'm going to pick up the shade. We're going to spray it with the MAC Fix Plus. And we're going to pop this into the inner corner if I can find this one hair. That's really pretty. That is like blinding and gorgeous. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my liner and my mascara and I will come back and show you all the completed look number two. All right, y'all, so this is going to complete the second eye look and this did come out really pretty. Um, that is a press glitter. 
but it's a very dry feeling pressed glitter. Um, I've used other pressed glitters from ColourPop before and they don't feel that dry and that gritty and that one really did. It does look really pretty on the lid. It did go on really smooth, but just digging my thing in there, finger in there, I was not a fan, but this is what it looks like. It did come out really pretty. Overall, I am really happy with the way that it turned out trying to get some enthusiasm back in me. Let me show you what I used to finish off this look. So for my waterline, I went in with my Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner in the shade um, Cinnamon, and I also tight lined up here in my lid, uh, where my my lash line there you go that's what that's called I don't even know anymore y'all and then for my mascara my same tower 28 making waves mascara in the shade drift so that's what that look looks like let's go ahead and change out this lip throw on the other blush and finish off this look okay let's go ahead and try out the grand adventure lip kit so i already went ahead and threw on that lip liner again the same bff lip liner so this is the shade not so good we're going to put this on my lips see what she looks like okay same formula creamy but not the best but I do really like this color this color is so so pretty yeah I really like that shade okay let's throw on the bookworm lip gloss see what this looks like okay that's pretty this might be really pretty on its own I don't feel like it's doing a whole lot with that lipstick. Like you can't see its true potential, but it is still really pretty. Okay, we have one more blush to try on. This is in the shade Mrs. Potts. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up with my Singe F06 brush, and we're gonna pop this onto my cheek. get my hair out of my way so you can actually see what I'm doing this is very powdery like y'all what is up with this collection mm, I'm not getting a lot of pigmentation like <sighs> okay I mean, there's a little something there. It's not a whole lot, not like the other one was. And it's just so like powdery and there's just so much kick up and like, I don't know. Mm. Okay, like I'm digging into this blush and I'm getting minimal payoff. Yeah, there's minimal and look at this, look at I know I've already showed y'all, but do y'all see all of that? Like, let me see if I can show you like what it does when I dig into it. You see how that's just like fluffing and it just, oof, I don't like that. This is the same issue that I had with the, what was it, the Cloud 9 palette? <sighs> It was just dusty and powdery and I didn't like it. But let's go ahead and throw on some of this highlighter again. Look, it's like all over my fingers. It's all over everything. This is the shade Special Guest. I'm gonna pick it up with my finger and put it on this way. This is how I like to apply Super Shock highlighters, but I feel like this one applied better with, nope, there we go. Okay, it was just the way I was looking at it. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom y'all out a little bit, and we're we're gonna chit chat about this Beauty and the Beast collection from ColourPop. All right, y'all. Let's chat about this collection because. I have thoughts and I'm pretty sure you already know what they are. Let's go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palette. I'm so disappointed in this. Like, this blue shade down here was a mess. You saw it, it was a giant mess. I applied it 
the best way that I know how. I can't imagine it going on any better with a denser brush or a fluffier brush or even with like a, um, a finger, anything like that. It's just so dusty and like it looks like it's going to be really pigmented but it just was a patchy mess on my lid and to me that broke this into this entire palette it just completely broke it apart because you take that away and you just have a nude eyeshadow palette that's all this is so I just, I'm disappointed in this. I do think the quality in every other shade in this palette is really nice. I didn't have any performance issues. There is this one pressed glitter over here and it is really dry, really gritty. And I didn't like the way that it felt on my finger, although it went on my shade, on my shade, it went on my lid beautifully and it looks beautiful. It was just a little underwhelming and disappointing. Um, these gold shades are really, really pretty. This is the only one that I did not play with. Let's go ahead ahead and swatch her see what she looks like okay mm, that's really pretty but it's not like the most I don't know y'all I'm disappointed in this palette I just I'm really really disappointed because like I said I was really looking forward to this collaboration I love Beauty and the Beast I love Colourpop I always think that they nail it with their collabs and I just this one doesn't do it for me. It's disappointing. The packaging is adorable. I love that we have Belle on the inside holding the rose. I love that we have the two of them on the outside. The attention to detail in the packaging of this palette is beautiful. The shade names are good. Everything in here performed except for this blue and this was just underwhelming. I kind of wish this has been like a super shock shade because we don't have, no, we don't have any super shock shades in here. This one should have been a super shock and it would have been absolutely beautiful. This should have been a matte blue and it would have been absolutely beautiful, but yeah, skip on it. I'm not impressed at all. I am really, really disappointed. Let's go ahead and talk about, let's talk about the blushes real quick. So Chip, the shade Chip, I like this. I think it went on really, really pretty. It's a good nude shade. If you have skin tone any darker than me, I don't know that you're going to get a lot of color payoff because it did take quite a bit to build up any kind of pigmentation on my skin, which I'm okay with. I don't mind a buildable blush, but I just don't think that this is going to work out for a very wide variety of skin tones. And it's the same thing with the shade Mrs. Potts. Like for me, this did nothing for my cheeks. Like you can't hardly, like you can see a small flush of color. This is giving me flashbacks of my Chanel um, blush and I just... <sighs> I'm disappointed. This there was so much fallout, so much kick up, very little pigmentation in this. Like ColourPop, you can do better. I know you can do better. I'm disappointed in the blushes. The one chip is not bad, but like I said, it's not going to get you through a lot of different shade ranges. Um, the lip kits. I actually like these. These are something that I do really like. So the two lipsticks, I thought both shades were really, really pretty. They both went on really nicely. They're not the smoothest thing in the world, but they are creamy. They do look really nice on the lips. From the lipsticks that I have used before from ColourPop, they last. They're obviously going to transfer. They're not a liquid lipstick. They don't dry down. They're a good satin formula, but the colors are beautiful. I do like them. Same thing with the lip glosses. I like the lip gloss formula from ColourPop. I think both of these shades are beautiful. They go up well with the collection. They're hydrating on the lips. They look beautiful. Um, the super Super Shock Highlighter. I like the highlighter. I really do. I don't mind it. I don't mind that it's in this great big huge packaging. I think the shade is absolutely beautiful. I can already see the waffling in there. Like, can you see that? Can you see that? I can already see the waffling in the pan. So, I mean, I don't expect this to be really deep because it is the same price as a normal Super Shock Highlighter. Instead of it being deep, it's going this way. So, I like the highlighter, I think it's beautiful. And I also really like the lip mask as well. It was comfortable on my lips, it smells like roses, but it's not like, not like a pungent rose smell. Like I'm not a big floral scent fan, especially when it comes to rose. And this is like a very soft rose smell. It does have some sort of flavor to it. I can't tell you what it is, it's nothing gross. It doesn't taste waxy or fake or anything like that. It just has like this nice like sweet, taste to it if you lick your lips but I really like this I think the packaging is cute I think they nailed it with this so 
I'm disappointed in this collection. I'm super, super disappointed. One, I was disappointed there was no mirror. That just, I feel like, what? How can you miss that one? How can you miss the mirror? And you've done collections with mirrors before, so I don't understand that, but the eyeshadow palette, I just, I don't know, I'm disappointed. Just overall, I'm disappointed in ColourPop. I'm disappointed in the quality of this collection. I'm disappointed in just a lot of things. I think the packaging is beautiful. The lips and the highlighter are where it's at, but the blushes and the eyeshadows, I definitely think you can skip out on, but that's what I have to say about this collection, but I want to hear from y'all. I want to know what y'all think. What do you think about the collection? What did you think about um, these looks? Did you pick up this collection? If you did, have you tried it? And did you have the same experience with the eyeshadows that I did? Because you saw it, it was a hot mess, but I want to hear from y'all. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let's light up that comment section and have that conversation. And as usual, I want to thank you all so much for watching my video and spending your time with me. It does mean so, so much to me. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week, most days, if not every day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.